Hi Summers, Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing an apartment renovation. This is one of the apartments in Evergreen Harbor. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but you can always look in the top left hand corner of the screen and read which one of the apartments it is. This is one with a balcony. I decided to choose this one because I was going off of a floor plan I found on Pinterest and I wanted to try and recreate it in The Sims, so, and it had a balcony on it. Now, unfortunately, we cannot decorate the balconies here in Evergreen Harbor, and there's only one apartment, if I recall correctly, in San Machuno that has a balcony that you can decorate as well, so I thought that this one would at least be better because it was on the same side of the floor plan as the one I was trying to recreate from Pinterest. Now, as you can tell, this video is very short. It's about nine minutes long. I did want to warn you guys, so if you've been watching my channel for a while or if you're new here, I wanted to let you guys know I am moving. So I am in the process. I have about T minus four days from the time that I'm recording this video to when I fly to my new location in California. So I am kind of trying to do like really quick builds, you know, stuff just to kind of buy my time and fill in the space in between when I'm not going to be have, able to have access to my computer. Now, next week, I wanted to warn you guys, it is mostly shorts. So if you're not aware of YouTube shorts, they are 60 seconds or shorter, and they're vertical videos. Most of them are build tutorials. There might be one create a sim. I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I do plan on doing one. And most of next week's videos are going to be those shorts, just because they're easier for me to create. Um, and in the time span of me trying to fill up a whole week of videos when I don't have access to my computer. Um, my computer is being shipped out later, that way it can be shipped safely because it is new, rather expensive, and I really didn't feel like either trying to lug it on the airplane or putting it in a shipping box. So I am having my parents ship it out separately after I find a place to live. So that's just a little bit about me, about what's going on. In case you guys are curious as to why next week is going to be mostly like those really short videos or why my channel's kind of going through a little bit of a patch right now, I promise once I get my computer back, once I'm in my new apartment, I will have everything back to normal. It'll probably be three to four videos a week like I used to be doing. Most likely Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I am going to be dealing with a time zone difference with this move, so I need to kind of get re-situated and reset up and figure out the best timings for my videos. But now into the video we are working on currently. This is a modern family apartment, and it's a small family. I only put enough beds in here for two sims. Now there is plenty of room in the kids' room if you wanted to do a full bunk bed. I did a loft bed. But if you want to do a bunk bed, you could do two kids and one and two parents, or I have it as two parents and one kid. I haven't exactly thought of a like career path for the parents or like what I thought the storyline of the family was. I just was really interested in trying to do some apartments because I haven't done apartments recently and I don't really have a lot of time on my hands right now because of this move so I'm kind of just going with the flow of things. I'm actually working on a house that's like a modern black and white farmhouse and it's been taking me so long. That was the video that was supposed to go up today but I haven't finished furnishing it yet so it'll probably be the first video up on my channel after I move. That way I can finish it and not necessarily just finish it, but finish it the way I think it needs to be finished because it is quite a large house the way that I'm building it and I don't want to have to rush anything. But now we're into the hallway area of this build and as you can see there is three doors here. There is one bathroom and two bedrooms and the one bedroom has a double bed for the parents. I did imagine that there was two parents and one kid. Um, like I said, you could go ahead and add in a, a bed underneath of the loft bed or even just like a separate bed somewhere else in the room. The room is kind of big. I filled it with a lot of clutter. You could also make it a little bit bigger and make the kitchen smaller because it is quite a large kitchen and I don't decorate it all that much because I... I don't know, the theme of this apartment was modern and even though it was a family apartment, I didn't know if they would have a whole lot of clutter, so I just did some basics. I hang up some knives and some utensils up on the wall here in just a minute and I do some spice containers and I believe I do the utensil holder and every time that I build apartments, I just picture how my apartment's gonna look when I finally get into it and 
I'm just, I'm so excited about this move and my head is like all over the place just trying to make sure I have enough time and make sure I can make videos for you guys because I love making videos but my head is totally spacey and I've also had a little bit to drink after or before doing this video so if I sound really rambly during this one I do apologize but as you can see we are just adding the minimal decorations that I use and I'm adding a rug because I thought that the floor needed a little bit of something. I thought it was just really bare. And then we're going to be moving into the bathroom. So the bathroom only has a shower, so you cannot have any toddlers or pets in this build. Well, you can have a cat, but you can't have a dog because dogs require a bathtub. And I couldn't- I was initially going to place a bathtub because I was thinking that maybe there would be one kid and one toddler, but the bathroom's really narrow and you can't fit a bathtub in bathrooms that are this narrow in The Sims because just of functionality purposes. And the bathrooms, like I said, it's really long and narrow, so there's like this awkward space in between the shower and the sink and the toilet. And it kind of doesn't make any sense, like I probably could have shortened it by one tile and made it look a little bit better, but I wanted to make sure I had enough room to make everything functional because my game has been acting up really weird recently and half of my bathrooms haven't been functional which is why I haven't downloaded any of my recent homes to the gallery because I have to like none of my kitchens are functional because I didn't realize when I first downloaded the dream home decorator pack that you couldn't place the countertop stoves over the ovens like they don't function that way and then also, also a lot of my bathrooms aren't functional, so that's why I've been trying to go back through and fix all of the kitchens and the bathrooms and make sure everything works before I upload any homes to the gallery. Probably the moment I get my computer shipped out, I will have everything downloaded to the gallery for you guys. But right now we're working on the kids' room. The parents' room went by super simply. Like I said, I didn't really think of any career that the parents were in, so there wasn't any like career-oriented decorations or anything like that. The kids' room is very nature-esque there's a lot of warm dark wood tones kind of like trees and there's a lot of green and as you can see i chose the grassy wallpaper um and i was kind of just inspired by you know nature and kind of the forest and stuff like that but besides that this this is the last room of the build so i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future sims content and i will see you all next time bye